Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Days Lab. So today I want to present you our vacuum chamber or airtight chamber. So uh, this is a cube made out of transparent acrylic and we installed uh, a CNC frame 318 inside and we also, the, the good thing about this camera, uh, chamber that we can add different inert gases like uh, CO2 or nitrogen for effective cutting. So uh, what we have inside, we have 10 watt, we have gloves first of all, we have a um, um, 10 watt uh, plus a laser because you need uh, external uh, heat uh, heat sink to make it uh, cooler. We have a cleaner uh, for to remove gas uh, gases while you are uh, cutting or end engraving and we have a sensor for uh, measuring uh, oxygen. Let me show you. So you see the sensor is over here. So you can see how much oxygen you have and in the chamber. So it's not perfectly airtight. I mean, this, this version, uh, if you need absolute, uh, um, absolute vacuum, or it's not right to say vacuum, but uh, then we can make it out of uh, thicker acrylic and uh, glue it a little bit better. So now we, we see that the oxygen level in, increases a little bit. Uh, what we, I'm gonna show you next. Okay, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, get CO2. So we get CO2 from this part. Uh, so we open and then we, Papa will show you uh, how it works and make sure that the pressure inside the chamber remains stable. Okay, so uh, now we close, we opened uh, uh, this so that the rest of air can go outside and now Pavel is adding CO2 inside the chamber and you will see that the concentration of oxygen is getting lower let's see okay so now you see that it's uh, reducing so an optimal uh, probably would be something like five percent yeah I, I think that even nine percent is okay but uh, let's make a test and see what how accurate can we do laser cutting uh, with low oxygen concentration so I put a few different pieces inside I get acrylic I get PVC so PVC is not a good Wait, uh, uh, you shouldn't uh, up, uh, cut PVC with um, uh, while you have an open uh, without fume extraction. So that's the chamber is looks good. So this is 3.1 millimeter plywood, and we normally cut it with uh, one pass, and it's a speed, uh, let's say 100. So here I'm gonna cut it with three passes okay we use uh, we use air assist and air nozzle as well we have a compressor inside also you can check the temperature okay the temperature inside is 27 uh, Celsius it's good and uh, you see that yeah it takes some time for CO2 to replace the oxygen inside the chamber. Okay. Yeah, I think I can start to cut uh, while we're still adding some CO2. So I'm using uh, Lightburn software. So this is uh, Lightburn software. I'm gonna cut a uh, rectangle. Uh, so you see the uh, speed is 300, 99% power, and three repeats. So shall we? Everything looks good. I didn't put it maybe very accurately, but we check out the focus before, it was fine. So let's, uh, let's run.
So like I said, three repeats. And here we check out the pressure. So you see that it should be stable. So make sure that the pressure uh, is around maybe plus minus 10%. Well, 5% actually would be better. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, the basic idea, okay, let's stop adding CO2. We don't need any more. Let's see how it was dropped. The good thing that I I notice and I see that it's absolutely perfectly cut. So it's it's absolutely amazingly cut. I'll show you a picture afterwards. But here you can see that absolutely no burning. Yeah, you understand there is no burning because there is simply no no oxygen. We have CO2 that does not allow to burn uh, wood and piece of plywood. Okay, we have PVC. Once again, do not cut it without film extraction because chlorine is very dangerous. Okay, and the speed. Yes, let's do the same speed, uh, like 300 uh, millimeters per minute and the same power. Okay, let's start it. And yeah, you see that the uh, rate for uh, oxygen is a little bit increasing now since we stopped adding. Oh yeah, I see that it could be cut even faster. Yeah, let's, let's do it with one repeat. Because it was too cut, too much. <laughs> okay, I think one would be enough, one repeat. Okay. No. It's not very convenient, but you need to get used to it to operate in such gloves. Interesting thing that I can imagine how astronauts have pain in their back once they do something on international space station because you really need to get used to working such gloves but here yes you can see that it was also quite accurately cut actually in both ways let me uh, check this piece oops yeah i think i, I lost it some way there okay um uh, maybe if we can cut uh blue acrylic no let's let's try black one black acrylic is much better i hope that you can see it well yeah also one repeat Oh no, we need probably more repeats for this one. Let's do three repeats. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm pretty excited because now you can do very nice things uh, in your small workshops with with a chamber like this.
okay looks like we need even even more even more cards maybe it's another another piece of acrylic now let's yeah i want to cut it let's make let's make it i'll reduce speed to 100 camera down so now we were cutting with a speed 100 and three repeats The temperature is increasing a little bit inside the chamber, so it's now 28 Celsius, and the temperature on the laser is 30 Celsius, so it's it's quite good. So you see that the acrylic was perfectly cut. And I hope I can get it from here. Yeah, oops. Okay, let me, I, I can see it. <laughs> so over here, it was perfectly cut, no melting, etc. So yeah, that was my first presentation and my first start with our uh, chamber. So hope that you like this video, please share it with your friends and now you see that you can really, really improve your cutting abilities uh, of your laser by adding CO2 gas to reduce burning of your materials and the good thing that you can also cut hazardous materials that contains chlorine etc. So you you can really engrave and cut acrylic and different types of materials so uh share this video with your friends subscribe on our channel visit our website endurancelasers.com and visit our online store endurance-lasers.com if you have any questions let me know gf at endurancerobots.com or call me or text me plus seven nine one six two two five four three zero two and have a wonderful experience with endurance lasers bye bye